Hi there, back with Souls of Survivors, and today I'm going to unlock the rest of the un of the seasonal skills. I haven't tried that the one that I got before, but hey, Assassin, K7, Masochism. And Masochism it was. This is me after unlocking the achievements. It took several tries. First of all, I took a singular focus and replaced it with Synergetic to make use of extra point as granted. It allowed me to start with one more ability. I was also going to make full use of the Assassin skill set. Now, I know for a fact this is going to be very difficult. Am I ready for it? Am I not ready for it? I have no idea. Now, the general gist of the event. You need to summon the Cupid, and, you need to, and then you need to break the towers. And I'm gonna do just that. Now, important thing, Cupid does damage to you. And also, mind you, you don't actually have to do it in Curse 7. I just do it because um, I'm a masochist. And there he is. Now he's gonna be shooting me with arrows constantly without a stop until well I finish or I'm finished but I have, I have thrust right give me thrust eh, this is good but not good enough give me ooh rupture this is very good this is my, one of my better skills because it knocks down enemies look at that it's like I cut at the legs that even stops bees from flying I don't know how it works but it does so I'm not gonna complain that's all there is to it. It works, it's fine. Now, if it didn't work, it wouldn't be fine. Am I right? Now, if you've noticed, I took off the singular focus, which uh, takes up uh, five rune costs. That's a lot of runes. And since Assassin has a lot of very useful skills, you really don't need to go into that. You obviously want to have as much cooldown on Rupture as possible. As, well, as little cooldown as possible, actually. And uh, probably as much area, because, you know, look at the description, can stun most elite enemies. Aha, and you really want that, because in K7, there are a lot of elite enemies. And they really want you dead. And you really don't want yourself dead. That's, that's the other thing. Ow. Enemies hurt. They hurt your body, and they hurt your feelings. Like, for example, they can say they don't like watermelons. And that's very upsetting. Yeah, strike, reroll. Come on, game, give me something good. Okay, Blazestorm, sure, fine. I do really expect to be getting uh, thrust abilities and not just uh, random stuff. Damage of rupture. Rupture all the time, yes. But the range, the range is not quite up there. Okay, I need to rupture these elites and cut them down. Oh, yes. Oh, yes, 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 yes. That was very productive. Uh, Thunderstrike. Very good. Fragility as well. And crits. And what else? Multicast. 20% is so good. I actually want to replace these abilities with something very particular. I need a smoke bomb. And also, I need the bloodlust. Oh, I hear the ding. Which means there's a tower to destroy. And I need to proceed to that. Now, unfortunately, the game does not actually show you where the tower is, so you have to find yourself, and then not die, as you get pelted by very many enemies. Done. I lost a lot of health for that. Was it worth it? Well, not really. It definitely was not worth it. I need to kill this guy. He does a lot of damage, this thing. And I probably need to invest into armor. Well, more armor means less damage. And my face is not hurt. Uh, but I want uh, more of this, more of that, and keep going. Run, 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 kill the elites. Ah! Don't get stuck! No, 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 no. Now, important thing to note here. I really need movement speed. Uh... And I think the music got updated. It's so very dramatic. Oh, I, I have a tower right there. Come on, Cupid, Cupid, don't. Ah! Here I realize that I don't actually need to stand still. I need to just have the tower in the line of fire of the Cupid. This was actually doable. A very high price. Now, I wonder, can you wait till the end and let the, all the towers respawn? 
Will the Cupid stay alive if you beat the final boss? I don't think that's the case. I actually haven't tested that. You never know. Because if it is the case, I don't actually need to sweat. At all. Ah! My face! 24 health is a lot of health. I need more area. I think that's what I need. Damage of Thunderstrike. I'll banish that. Banish that. Touch of Ice. Actually, that's good. Since I have the Synergetic ability, since I have the Synergetic rune, my chances of activating the Synergy are increased by flat 20%. Every time I proc Touch of Ice, I am almost guaranteed to proc Fragility Synergy. I just need the Hypothermia card. So now that card has a 20% chance... Well, more, more chance to actually proc Fragility. And that's very good. Because the uh, Touch of Ice itself has a very cha high chance of proccing, so... This is promising. I mean, nobody said it's going to be easy, but... Yet it is more doable than before. Now, something tells me that I'm not killing bosses, and that's a bad idea. Ow. How would I go about surviving? I really don't know. Okay, I spent too much time running away from enemies. I'm not actually killing bosses. That's that's the that's a bad thing. It's a very bad thing. Because what's gonna happen in the moment, there's going to be another set of bosses. On top of the current set of bosses. A bossception, if you if I say so myself. Oh there's a health crystal. Oh um, there's a fire in the ground, don't touch that. And indeed it was the case. I kept running past the pile of enemies, trying to chip away the bosses. I traded my health for the boss health and eventually ran out of health. On my second attempt, I got very lucky and rolled most of the necessary skills straight away. But it was not enough. I kept running circles around the boss pile and uh, in the end rolled myself out of health and revives again.
my third attempt had me get two of the best skills straight away, Bloodlust and Rupture, I proceeded to fill all of my six slots with skills and went ahead to summon the Cupid. But Crystal was not there. I made a circle around the map to check if it had moved to some other similar games placed on the other side, but no, it was completely gone. I had a brilliant thought come to me, what if it respawns after I beat the first round of bosses? Seeing my prior boss misachievements in the run, I was hesitant at first, but having Bloodlust and the upgraded smoke bomb meant that not only I attack fast, but also my attacks benefit from the smoke bomb effects. Which is to say, the first round of bosses died very quickly. I proceeded with the victory lap, but the crystal did not respawn and I ended the attempt. My next try saw me aiming for the same build, I was going to kill bosses quickly to allow me sufficient space to break the towers. I did manage to break not one, not two, but three towers. But there my luck ended. No more towers appeared, I could not get close to the boss and the leads, I could not get levels to spawn more towers and eventually I did not make it. At all. I needed to change the strategy. More attack area was required to allow me to actually do damage, I need to stop focusing the bosses, but rather target the elites to get levels and spawn towers. In my final attempt, I took things slowly.
Okay, the final boss now. I just need to not die in a stupid way. In a very stupid way. I can do it or not. Ah, that took a while. Nope. Okay. How much damage did this whole thing do? Uh, twin daggers. MVP. 90 million. Holy cow. Okay, let's look at the uh, new skills. So, what do we have? Skill books. Is it in here? Ah, look at us! So, this is the one that I got for the single match. And these two are curse 18 and curse 34. So, you don't actually have to do it at on, curse, on maximum curse, which is 48. So, this one I saw... Fire a large arrow, 3,000 damage. That's actually a very good skill. Six second cooldown is not a whole lot. And a heart rending strike. So this stuff, these skills are an absolute beast. All, trust, all stacks of bleed in the hemorrhage. Oh, this is good. Wow. A lot of bleed. Chance of dagger with like extra damage from hammers. These are very strong skills, holy cow. I mean I have a lot of skills that I still haven't opened up because I haven't unlocked the new weapons, which is something I need to get to, and I will get to. In the future in the future it is. Okay. Fully, fully stacked on the Achievements fully stacked on the items. Okay, this is complete. Good stuff. It wasn't difficult. Surely wasn't difficult.